I mean, is there even a point in reviewing this? Like, I could just list off 355 reasons that you should not see this in theaters. But you probably didn't sign up for a 355 minute video anyway. So first movie review of 2022, here goes nothing. The 355 was directed by Simon Kinberg and stars a fantastic cast. Jessica Chastain, Lupita Nyong'o, Penelope Cruz, Bing Bing Fan, Diane Kruger, and Sebastian Stan is in this film too. I mean, that right there is just a fantastic list of talent. And we follow CIA agent Mason Brown, played by Chastain, who joins forces with a rival German agent, a cutting-edge computer specialist, and a Colombian psychologist when a top-secret weapon falls into the hands of a group of mercenaries. And together, the four women embark on a breakneck mission to save the world while staying one step ahead of a mysterious figure who's tracking their every move. So before I dig into any more details, welcome back to my channel, guys. If y'all are new here, what the heck are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can. We are getting oh so closer to 1,000 subscribers over here. I'm talking about all things cinema on the regular here, of course. All exciting new things in movies and entertainment. So if you want to stay up to date, don't forget to click that notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads going forward and smash that thumbs up button because well that's just insanely helpful as well but yeah let's dig right into it my friends and my lord do i not want to talk about this yeah it's only fitting the first movie review of 2022 is the quintessential january release i hate to say it guys but this movie sucked i mean just downright terrible this is a movie that belongs in january purgatory i really didn't want to come into this review saying that because i really wanted to like this movie but it's the God's honest truth, guys. This was bad. And these actresses really are trying their damnedest. Jessica Chastain is clearly very talented, and she shows that in better films. But this is just another Ava, guys. Let's face it. She's just not all that interesting of a character, unfortunately. Lupita Nyong'o as well. Probably one of the most talented actresses alive, and she's throwing her all into this material. As is Sebastian Stan, who was really fun to watch here. But unfortunately, the material just feels lesser than the sum of its parts. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm a big believer in this screenwriter. Her name's Teresa Rebeck. She's actually written a good amount of excellent scripts, mainly for the stage. One of my personal favorite scripts that I actually got to study in college was one of hers. And I actually got to see this performed live on stage. It's a play called Seminar. Nobody's ever heard of Seminar. Um, the original Broadway production starred the late, great Alan Rickman, also known as Severus Snape. It's a really interesting piece, all things considered, with some excellent character work. The ending... Eh, I can do with or without the ending. It's, it's it's still a little bit iffy for me. But it's certainly well written. There are loads of great characters that you can get behind, and you certainly understand all of their actions. The 355, on the other hand, has approximately zero interesting characters, aside from Bing Bing Fan's character, who is really, really great in the film. She brings a lot of levity to the project, but she's not introduced until halfway through. As far as I see it, there's really nothing interesting about these ladies, aside from them being badasses. And it really doesn't help that this story just feels so all over the place. It really feels like it could have ended at least at three different points before it actually did roll the credits. I was shocked to learn that the big action climax that we got actually wasn't. There's about a half hour left to go after that big whole action set piece, which I was honestly sitting there dreading, which should never be the case in a spy action movie like this. But the way this action was directed, I just... <sighs> God, guys. <laughs> this was really bad, people. The cinematography is probably the clumsiest I've seen in an action film in quite some time. There are loads of brutal stunts in here that I wish I could have been able to see and divulge in the hard work of these stunt performers. But that's all shunned away by some atrociously horrific shaky cam. Like, literally every action scene, I'm taken out of it because there's so much shaky cam going on here. And I'm sorry, it just feels incredibly sloppy. Even some of the slower moments have some pretty heinous editing choices throughout the entirety of the 355. There are certain slower spots where characters will just be talking to one another, and the camera is literally just circling around them. And I hate to say it, it was really distracting. Which sucks, because there's some really heavy moments thrown in here. No spoilers, of course, but there's some emotionally resonant shit going on in the 355. And the movie really doesn't take enough time to develop these characters enough to make us feel for them. Which is ironic, sitting here with a two hour and four minute runtime beneath.
anything. But it never really lets the audience sit with what these characters are dealing with. I was personally just sitting there wanting a little bit more breathing room to take everything in. But with the direction it was going... That was not to be the case. Didn't really allow for any slow spots like that, which again, sitting here really thinking about it, super ironic. I really don't know what else to tell you guys. The 355 is really, really bad. I'm gonna give it a D. Yeah, 2022 movie going isn't off to the strongest start, y'all. And that's a damn shame because I was actually very intrigued to see what this director could do with this film. But then I remembered that his only other directorial credit is Dark Phoenix. Yeah, the shitty X-Men film. God damn. Yeah, this is not the spy action flick that I'm personally looking for. Honestly, you can see all of these actresses in better projects. Lupita Nyong'o had Us come out a couple years ago. Jessica Chastain. Zero Dark Thirty is considerably better than this film. I would say that this movie really isn't worth 355 seconds of your time. Yeah, it honestly doesn't surprise me that this movie is stuck in January purgatory. But I'm curious. Let me know what you thought of the 355 down in the comments section below. Make as much noise as you like hot takes only and don't forget to smash that subscribe button on your way out and don't forget to tap that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload from me and stay tuned for more exciting content hitting this channel very very soon next weekend i'm going to be looking at scream the 2022 version of course we'll also be looking at the tragedy of Macbeth, which is hitting apple tv plus and of course i'll be starting my harry potter series before you know it so lots of exciting things to look forward to guys and much much more Y'all are the best. Honestly, I couldn't have gotten to this point where I am without you guys. With all that being said, back talk, commence. <laughs>